right, welcome back everyone. This is the Happy Toolbox. And this week I'll be showing you how the artist Beeple achieves the painterly effect he uses on a lot of his everyday renders. This is an example of one right here. And some of these lines he's drawing by hand, but the rest of it, he is applying a procedural paint effect. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Just a heads up, this will be using another program other than C4D and Octane. Uh, that is Topaz Studio 2. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through how that works. So if you're interested in this tutorial, let's get started. All right, so as you can see here, I have my stylized version of that piece by Beeple. Um, I just put this together using the anatomy dummy in our schoolhouse pack on thehappytoolbox.com. Um, kind of funny looking. <laughs> His eyes are kind of wonky, but um, I wanted to get something pretty close to, um, you know, this piece we could work with and really see similarities in how uh, this painterly effect is working. So from there, I just rendered out this image, didn't do any extra passes or anything, um, and I brought it inside of Topaz Studio 2. So very briefly, Topaz Studio 2, you can get on topazlabs.com. Um, there is a trial of this that you can test out, but it's pretty much a photo editing tool. This tool is actually like analyzing your render. It's analyzing edges. It's doing things. And what's great about it is it's non-destructive. So as you can kind of see in this little video over here, they're adding pieces and parts to this, and then you can always go back and change them. It's not like Photoshop where, you know, you have to hit undo 85 times. So let's hop into Topaz Studio. Okay, so this is what Topaz Studio looks like. Um, it just starts with drop your folder or images here. So I'm going to bring in my render. Here's my beautiful anatomy dummy. Um, and I will say, I feel like the process before um, you get here, uh, if you are to do any actual hand drawing stuff on your rendering like Beeple does, you would do that before you do any of these effects inside of Topaz Studio. So some of these like big you know, veins are definitely hand painted. Um, so do those and then bring it in. And then this photo editing tool will almost like merge, you know, your 3D rendering and your hand-drawn stuff and it, you'll get a really cool look. So from here, I have my image. There's a lot of different things you can do here. I'll probably make a couple other tutorials if you're interested in this program at all. But what you need to know specifically for the Beeple painterly effect is there are things over here called add looks. So if I go over here to add look, there are all of these crazy looks. Some are good, some are bad um, that you can apply. Like, uh, you know, I don't know if you'll ever be using this one over here, but the point is there are some really great painterly procedural effects in here. So what I do is there's look category. So it's at all right now. You can have favorites, um, but you can go to artistic. And that's where a lot of these painting effects are. So you can see right here, if I click chalk pastel, I mean, that's pretty cool looking already. Um, but what's great about these is you can slide the intensity value up and down and get it exactly where you want. And you can also stack these effects on top of each other. So if I hit apply, I can continue to apply other ones on top of it. So what I found works really well to get this look though, um, is if you go to, let's go to all first and go down to something called definition detail. So if you click this, this is pretty cool in general for any render you're doing. It just knows where to apply the curves to this thing. And you know, I do a lot of stuff in Photoshop and After Effects as well, but there's just something about this that is so nice comparatively. So if I hit apply to definition detail, what you can see is it kind of pops me back over to my stack and basically added this look folder on top of it. And all of these pieces inside of that look fo folder are filters that they're just stacking on top of each other. And again, since this is non-destructive, I can literally turn this on and off. I can go to precision contrast. I can mess with all of these crazy details and then go back to add look. And I want to go to artistic category, swipe down. You can try all of these different paint effects. There's colored pencil effects, etc. I'm going to go down to something called MI Impressionist. So if I click this, you get this crazy paint effect already. Um, and one important thing to note with this program is you can see up here there's fit and 100%. And fit in the window um, 
for some reason with this program, it might not exactly be how this looks. So it's always good to pop back into 100% and make sure it is looking the same. But you can see, I mean, this is crazy. It's literally doing the strokes, you know, down on the neck. It's doing strokes kind of around this area. It's very, very smart with how this program's working. So I'm going to apply that effect. It's already looking pretty cool. Again, you know, Beeple has all of these unique hand-drawn lines he's put in, but you can see it's kind of the base. And even if you look at the background here, this is that procedural effect that's happening to the background. Now I have my definition detail stack. I have my MI impressionist stack on here. And again, this is non-destructive. So what's really cool about these paint effects, I'm gonna pop back into 100, is if I go to impression, you can see it literally allows you to pick brush strokes for this. So right now this type 01 is selected. Let's say I select type 02. It starts to drastically change the look based upon this brush type, which is pretty amazing in my opinion. So I really like this type 01. That's why I chose that filter. But what's cool about this too is if I go down here, you can mess with the brush size. So I can pump this brush size way up and get something way more abstract looking than before. Or I can pop it down, get it really minimal, kind of separate it out. But you can see how this program's working. It's literally looking for patterns and drawing directional shapes um, based on the patterns and colors in your art. So yeah, something like that is feeling good. Um, again, you can mess with all this, stroke length, make it more smoothed out and together, and smudge it. Ton of cool stuff to look at in here. Um, and that is just barely breaking the surface. So again, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you how cool this program is and specifically how to achieve some of the um, painterly effects people does. He talked about some of these in his NAB appearances. So I just wanted to make a tutorial about it. Hopefully this helps. Um, it's not that expensive of a program. I think it's totally worth the investment. It also has some Photoshop plugin capabilities, which is really cool. If you'd like this video and subscribe to the channel, that would help us out a ton. Um, if you want me to go more in depth on how I did the specific anatomy dummy render or want to see more Topaz uh, Studio 2 tutorials, let me know in the comments section below. And as always, if you're interested in any 3D models, including this sweet anatomy dummy, head on over to thehappytoolbox.com. All right, I'll see you next time.